But a score to settle here, first and foremost. Bath against Saracens at the wreck. And Danny Cipriani launching the day. This is going skywards too. Again, Malin's on the chase. Across comes Watson. And the tackle is a good one from Malin's. Good numbers pouring over the top of that from Saracens, and they've been rewarded. Just what they were after when they ran out two and a half minutes ago. They lead by three. Davis taking it on himself this time. Whipped away by Ezekwe. Here's Vunapola. Keeps it alive nicely. Maruatoji explodes through the gap. Half a yard. And only five minutes of premiership action. Maruatoji is on the scoreboard for Saracens. Now they're getting their own shot at it with a penalty advantage. Tompkins holds it back nicely. Farrell goes wide. Here's Maitland in the line, pops it over the top. Maitland's stretching his legs and scoring. And he remains the standard setter from the tee, Owen Farrell. Saracen's line out, imperious. That combo of George and Atoji in pile some of the backs. Maitland's in amongst it. Jamie George still has it, I think, tucked under his arm. And the try line is there. And for the second week running, Jamie George is on the score sheet and is making his point. And there was an air of inevitability. And with the injury to Luke Cowan Dickey, which doesn't look great, he's certainly going to be out for at least a few weeks, you'd think. This could be a timely return to form for Jamie George. He's a bit of a forgotten man from England's perspective. Such an experienced player. Question is, can they convert any of this pressure? Robano smashed in the tackle. And that's loose and it's sitting up for Malins. Nobody will chase him down. Two for the day for Max Malins. Saracens are rampant. Well, Saracens now have the bonus point inside half an hour. That's the fastest that uh, any team has done it in the Gallagher Premiership this season. Farrell, big fend. Huge fend of Cipriani. That was fairly dismissive. Ezekwe for Itoji. Sarri's a purring. Swinson to Davis. And now Tompkins. Making excellent ground. Davis again, good. They can do what they want at the moment, seemingly. Good try, something a little elaborate. And Earl is in space, and Earl will head for the corner, and Earl will score unless that went forwards, which I suspect it might have done. So, so the question here, what was that forwards from Good, and whose finger was that? It looks like it might have been Watson's, actually. Yeah, I think initially the referee said, yeah, it goes back, but, but did the pass go forward? We're just checking this pickup. Yeah, that's OK. Pick up pickup's fine. all right. Offload's fine. And they'll give the try out. No, just question yeah, whether the that, pass itself was heading forward from Goud, but it's not a problem. Try stands. And that's not deviating one jot either, is it? <laughs> Taken by Ezekwe. Billy Vanapola to the short side. Here's Jamie George barreling forwards. Stop just short, one little pick and go should do it. Billy Vanapola still moving forwards, denied. Blue no! He's off his feet there, it's got to be. Hold. Davis, again they go from short range. Bath scrambling as all they can, they can't. They really can't. And another score is chalked up for Saracens and for Jamie George. And the misery is compounded for the home side here. Well, this is already Saracens' biggest tally at the wreck in the Premiership. They've done it inside 40 minutes. They lead by 45 points to nil, their best ever first half in the Premiership, Bath's worst ever. Fox Whites 
On goes Abano. And suddenly Bath have a little bit of energy about them. Stay up. Energy and purpose. No, Jamie! They've been here before, of course, many times without reward. Sixth time they've been this close. The ball dislodged. Fox gets it away. Cipriani brings it to Glanville. Lovely line. But it's a long, long way back, folks. But maybe that's the spark that Bath need. And sale. Wollstone Croft. Time to dig in again in defence for Bath. One more offload off the deck. And in they go. Owen Farrell there, show little pump on the inside and holds on to the ball. If he'd have held his feet, Tompkins, you feel, might have got in for the try, but he gets the offload away. They recycle the ball nice and quick. And then, again, that offloaded game allows Maui to cross over and Saracens are back on track. Funapola, wide they go, Shagan into the corner. Well, it was very simple. And still, the Bath defence fails to find a way to stop these attacks wherever they come from. Close range, wide out, well, it's all going Saracens' way. Well, it's smart thinking from Saracens because Bath have, have not, um, they've not loosened off, they've not spaced out, they've switched off defensively and they've been made to pay. And Driving through the tackle of de Glanville. Wilson Croft buffeted. Good. Inside ball for Maitland. Sean Maitland setting off and dragged down a little high over the shoulder from Bayliss. Jack Makepeace seems unconcerned. And Saracens too because Morris fires his way to the line. And look at this, just straightening inside line to Maitland again. Tired tackle from Bayliss. He's worked hard all game. He to his credit, he does get back, but really, it's any one of a number of players that can walk in. Malins with the overhead pass, sees the yeah, space. The Don yeah, Morris has probably the easiest score he's had for a while. Saracens are into double figures. Yeah, talk about what Max Malins did there. Looked to try and pass, yeah, didn't no he, straight away from the base, but yeah. assessed what was on from a defender's point of view and also where the space was. Good spot, Laurie, thank you. Well, he had his sighter a moment or two ago, Alex Goods, and he's lifted Saracens into the 70s. More. Once more, McNally more. secures the line out ball. More. This is looking promising. Bath for the line. Scored. <laughs> Biggest roar of the day, but it is infused with, frankly, relief. Tom Ellis is eventually the player who scores the try. Well, they've tried to bookend each moment in this half, haven't they? Trying to finish strong. Crumbs of comfort. A Jomo to De Glanville. Bayliss draws the man nicely. Here's Muir barreling his way forwards. There is a fighting spirit here. Worming forwards. Thank you. And the man of the match finishes the match. And what a match. Well, frankly, a consummate performance from Saracens. They've been powerful, they've been ruthless, they've racked up their biggest away win in the Premiership. And we have seen the unravelling of Bath, really, at times painful to watch. Humiliated on their own patch and a proud club today brought to its knees. Full time, Bath 17, Saracens 71.